uh, it's a type of fermented cabbage. So, work. Never mind. You know what? That's different. Not going to answer that question. Which is popular in um, Germany and... Uh, man, this is a first-year class. <sighs> Which basically means if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck and it acts li and it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. So... That is a complicated way of saying different from yeast-based fermentations because it doesn't require as much sugar, which is good because cabbage doesn't have nearly as much sugar. Da da da, da da da. These are all Unicode characters. Ah, there's the sorts of things that you would ferment with yeast. Um, but yeah, the idea is uh, right. <laughs> is potato in that false to kind of shred a bunch of cabbage in operator <laughs> mix it with salt so that that draws the juice out of the cabbage the juice is the juice um Then you put it in a pot in your basement for about three or four weeks. Um, um, until the lactobacilli have um, had a sufficient feast. Freak, super freak, yeah. super freak, super freak. To raise the uh, the or lower the pH of the entire brew. That was my first one. It was not very good. So, you know, the Soviets would have had their own, right? To somewhere in the vicinity of 4.5 or 4 or 4 or somewhere between 4 and 4.5 uh, pH. Permanent nerve damage. Um, and at that point, it's sufficiently acidic to prevent the growth of uh, further microorganisms. Coding bat. Um, you know. I just like the power. The real power. But yeah. Cool. Anyway, uh, that's it for to me for today, I'm afraid. Uh, take her easy, folks, and uh, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Yep. Anyway, I've got another class to get to, so I'm going to... Sign out here. Take her easy, folks, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.